In the wake of the Black Lives Matter protest, you and Council Member Curran Price introduced a motion requesting a policy for moving, renaming buildings, streets, and perhaps even removing art that may be deemed offensive by certain communities. So in regard to the statues, uh, back in 2017, uh, I led the effort to replace Columbus Day with Indigenous Peoples Day. One of the consequences of that was to lobby the county to remove the Columbus statue in Grand Park. We want to make sure that we can proceed in a manner that is fair, open, transparent, and then addresses trauma and harm uh, that these controversial uh, symbols represent. Because symbolism is important. If we're to dismantle racism wherever it exists, that also means dismantling the symbols that are uh, held in some form of reverence in the greater public sphere. Last time we spoke, all of the Pride events were going to be virtual. And then there was a loosening of, uh, of the restrictions and so the parade actually happened. How was that for you? It was great. I participated. Uh, I marched. I, I was there. Uh, it was a very meaningful, um, important, spiritually uplifting event. Um, and it's, it's so important that the, the black LGBTQ community have a voice. Our movement was born of diversity, and now it's, it's the continued diversity, which also sort of teaches a lesson to the greater society that in the LGBTQ community, we really know how to work together. A lot of people still are unable to go back to work. A lot of people are unable to pay their rent. Uh, and so you are a strong proponent of the HEROES Act because there are restrictions and limitations what can be done on a local level. You really need support from a national perspective. We do. We've done so much to help renters uh, who are uh, living with the consequences of COVID, either because they're unemployed or partially employed now. Um, there are state issues that supersede what we can do locally. So we need help from the state and the feds. The HEROES Act has in it a provision for $180 billion with a B for relief for renters, mortgage holders, and small businesses. As cliche as it sounds, we literally are all in this together. It's time to put everything aside and give a relief of bailout for everyday Americans, not big corporations but everyday people are trying to stay housed and keep their mortgages sound. Congratulations on uh, keeping things alive and going well in your district. Thanks, Maria, I appreciate that. We're here to, we're here to keep things going. That's, that's, uh, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm doing this job. Okay, well, <laughs> you take care, Mitch. Thank you.